Hi guys, this is Kember with Kirby Heart Face Paintings. So I had a little extra time today, so I wanted to do a um, sunflower, the ladybug. So I figured I could do a couple of things here, and I can show you how to do a ladybug, and then um, sitting on a leaf, and have the leaf come from a sunflower up here, and then the leaf be right here with the little tiny ladybug, um, or the eye. Probably the eye will be the flower, and then the ladybug will be right here. All right, so I wanted us to get started. To make the flower, because um, to make the flower, we are going to be using uh, sponges. Um, so we're going to take a brown, we're going to paint that in the center, and then we're going to go a, little, a small line of orange, and then the rest yellow. We're going to start at the base of the thing, and we are going to rotate out like that. So just so you know what we're doing. So in Ladybug, obviously we're gonna need red and we're gonna need our black and white for uh, highlights and such. So let's get started. We're going to take our bigger green brush. We're gonna get that wet. And um, refresh, now I need some water but you use what you gotta use. And right now I'm using my drinking water. So there, now I've got some water to work with. Okay, oh, that's silly, but let's do this. All right, so we're gonna get my brush nice and wet. We're gonna go into the brown. Now, if you guys watched me before, my brown is in a really awkward box that I'm not gonna be showing you right now, but just have faith it's down here. So I'm just whirling the brush around, trying to load it up. And I'm more like petting the brown. So you nice and loaded and we're going to take it and we are just going to put it right here on the inside, just right there. So if you can see, it looks a little funny, that's okay. And you can keep loading it because we're gonna spray it with water once we're done. And from there, okay, now we're, I'm gonna rinse that. And I'm gonna go in with the yellow next because the orange will darken the yellow and I don't want that. So we're going to, I should have started with the yellow first. I always go from light to dark because then your colors are less likely to bleed onto your solid palettes. So we are going to have a large yellow area. You can't really see it because the sponge itself is yellow, but have faith it is on here. So I'm still wetting my brush and I'm loading up Loading up my brush, like so, and we are just filling it in right here. And I want a little less orange, so we're just filling it in a little bit closer each time. And we're going. So if you can see a difference, I want a little bit more yellow because the orange is gonna bleed on to the yellow and I wanna make sure that it's nice and solid. Okay, so I think that's loaded enough. I'm gonna get our brush nice and wet again and we're gonna go straight into the orange. You should only have to load your sponge up once if you do it really, really well. And um, if you spritz it with water a few times, you'll activate the wet paint. And my sponge, when I started, was moist because it just washed it from a previous video. So um, if you start with a moist sponge, so I added the orange and I slightly just pulled it a little bit out. Just like that. It helps with the blending. So I want you to see what this is gonna look like. So it's gonna uh, it kinda looks like candy corn. <laughs> but that's what we're going for. So um, if you start out with a moist brush or moist um moist moist sponge to begin with it it helps create and helps hold the, hold the moisture of the colors and if you need to reactivate you can just spray it so I tested it out on myself once I'm very pleased with it and so we're just gonna go in so I'm gonna close my eye and I need to make sure that I start in the center of my eye this time because last time I did this I went a little off kilter oh and I was not as pleased with the results so you just push, you rotate, and push all the way around and repeat. And if you want, you can push it out a little bit, 
but I wanted like a sunflowery color and the orange took over the brown. So we don't really have that going for us anymore, but we'll make it work. Look, I'm so bright and colorful with a little mess on my nose. Just can clean that up just like that. Or if you like it there, you can just put it right back on. Hmm. There. Oh, I feel pretty. Look at dandelion. Okay, we need to stop with that. All right, so we're done with our orange and our yellows and our brown. So I'm gonna put my brown away real quick so it doesn't get in my way. Hmm, I don't like. Nah, it's fine. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna let that sucker dry. And we're gonna get our red. Uh, we're gonna use the brush that we just used, but we're gonna make sure it's nice and clean first because we want a nice bright red. I'm gonna take this and it's wet. Uh, roll it on your towel to get rid of any extra moisture. And then you just do our loop-de-loops. This is how you load a brush, especially a round brush. At least this is how I do it. Um, I find that it helps hold the um, bristles in nice and tight. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more water. You can always dip your brush or take a squirt bottle and spritz it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that one more time. Or not that. But I am liking the look of this. And we always test out in your sand before you do others. For those of you who haven't seen my other videos. And we're just going to do... Ooh, look at that pretty red. You just test it out on yourself. I think that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Could be a butterfly. All right. So I want our ladybug right here. And I'm going to have a big old leaf. Because sunflowers have giant leaves, and this is going to be a big old uh, ladybug. So we are going to just go up. Kind of do like an eye shape. So this is what we are doing. And don't worry. I kind of want it a little bit rounder. See, it has a sharp point right here, and I don't really want that. I mean, we're going to cover that up with black anyway, so we won't mess with it. Okay. That doesn't look weird at all. I used to, still kind of do, have a fear of ladybugs. Ladybugs are awesome, and I always thought they were good luck. And then I lived in Ohio, which they are still good luck in Ohio. But when it's turkey season, and they're trying to lure the turkeys out, Turkeys love ladybugs. So I was out on the playground and a ladybug came on me. I'm like, oh my God, a ladybug, I'm so happy. And then another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one, another one, and another one. And I was swarmed and I freaked out. But I'm over it now. Ladybugs are not harmless. They don't bite. They're very pretty. I'm just, you know, I was a little bit of a scary cat that day. And uh, it was so funny because um, I love bug. Like, I love, my cousin had some uh, cockroaches, African hissing cockroaches, I think, or Amazon hissing cockroaches, some kind of hissing cockroaches. I thought they were so cool. I don't want to touch them, but I thought they were cool. Um, and so, anyways, I always liked the idea of ladybugs. And so um, that's just a fun little fact about me and ladybugs. But I know that there are almost 500 different species of ladybugs and they come in a variety of colors and not just red, they come in orange and yellow and pink. And uh, they use the spots on their backs to scare off predators um, because they think that there are multiple, guy, uh, multiple eyes looking back at them. I just thought that was a fun fact for you guys. All right, so sunflower's a little droopy, so we are going to take our thick brush and we are going to wind it down for the stem. I want it a little bit thicker. So we are gonna go out closer to the ear. We're gonna bring it down. You can fill it in a little bit if you'd like. Just like that.
Now, while I still have it green, I'm just gonna get it wet a little bit more by dipping it in my dirty water uh, because it's okay if it's a little dirty water. We're gonna take this and we are going to turn it flat. So it's like that. And we are going to draw a leaf. And leaves, they come like that and then go like that. Just like that. Just the ladybug is resting on it. She ha he, she he had a hard day at work. Have you ever seen <laughs> have you ever seen a bug's life? And the little the ladybug is a male. Oh, he's so cute. Francis, I think his name is. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I loved ladybugs is from that movie. Alright, and there's that, and we'll just draw another leaf off on the side here. So that way it's not a lonely leaf. Alright, I am quite happy with that. You can touch it up where you want to. I think I'm, like I said, I'm quite happy with this, except for I want it there. Now I feel it's a little bit more of a solid stem. Okay, I'm very happy with that. We're gonna rinse off our brush. Always remember to rinse off your brushes. And I'm feeling the flat brushes. So I think I might bust that out for our uh, for our next piece, which is going to be us doing the um, just going to be us uh, adding to uh, the flower so I don't like this flat brush and don't okay we're gonna go do this flat brush I haven't used it in a long time so we're just gonna get it nice and wet and we're gonna squish it a little bit and I'm gonna get the orange so I don't want I'm trying not to use as much black on my face and since ladybug is gonna have a good amount of black on her we're gonna try to outline the sunflower in orange and if you feel it's dry now see it only has a little bit of yellow from earlier not a liar. Alright, so we're just because it's a flat brush, we're not gonna go in swirls, we're just gonna go back and forth and load this bad boy up just like that. Alright. Now I want it nice and flat, and right now it's not looking like it's gonna be flat. I might have to exit this. Always look, so I want it to be flat and to do lines. So let's see. Mm, I guess that could work. Go here. Yeah. All right. I think I, I think I'm happy with that. So we're gonna reload it up because I had a little bit of an insecurity with my yellow or my orange. Okay. So we're gonna start near the brown and work our way out. So we are going. I'm gonna look this way and we are going to go down and angle out nice and round like that and you just keep going and if you have a couple stragglers it's okay make a couple extra triangles tie them in if your orange gets a little wet or a little too dry spritz your orange with your squirt bottle and just reapply all right and so we are we are rounding Okay, if it's a little thick, I'm I'm not mad at how thick the lines are. Okay, a little mad at that nose line, but sometimes the curves of your face don't always work in your favor. You just gotta go with it. <laughs> okay, contacts are not my friend right now. This is the end of my day. So after this, hmm, I am looking forward to taking them off. So keep reloading your brush. And we are going to go up against the hairy eyebrows. Like that. And go a little bit more. 
And if you look surprised when you did it, you can always go back down the other way and work your way back up and down. Just like that. Right here, see how I don't like this orange just out and about? So we're just going to take our brush and draw the corner there. Ah, oh, we made a petal. And I want to make a little petal here. Seems a little naked. Perfect. And now I'm just in the groove. I like that. We'll add one right there. It's so pretty. I'm a flower. I think in Bugs Life, the ladybug Francis, he wears, he has like a flower in his head. And, ugh, just love that movie. I feel like it was a time when Disney was having a hard time with movies. And it's sad that it is not something that a lot of kids know of nowadays. I thought it was very educational. But other people like ant, the movie Ants um, more. I guess it depends on what you like. I was more a Disney kid. All right. So then we're going to just do the same thing we did over there. We're just pulling up and we're trying to make sharp leaves. But on the bridge of your nose, it's kind of difficult. No one's going to blame you for that. And if they do... Ask them, was the last time they painted a flower on their eye? No, don't do that. Say, oh, well, I thought it was nice. But just be you. Be the flower that you are. <laughs> okay. All right, like that. And then we're gonna go down this way. Bring it on down. I know I said that once or twice already. Got another little missed opportunity right here. And another one right here. Oh, I'm so, so pretty. Okay. So I like that because we didn't have it be super dark, but we are going to go in and do like little black dots because sunflowers have sunflower seeds that are dark. Now, now that is ready. So we're going to take one of our smaller round bl uh, brushes. We're going to get it wet. And we're gonna wipe it off on the cloth so that way it's not sopping wet. Water. Melted California black. If you're wondering why I call it Melted California black, it's because I left my face paints in my minivan and uh, for about a week. And it was when we had triple digits, so I was not about to go out to the cart and remove it. And uh, when I got back all my paints, I noticed, oh, you're kind of sad looking. See, it's like melted on the bot. It's like all melted to one side, but it still works. It's still pretty to me. All right, so we are going to go here and we're going to round. Cut that sharp point, sharp corner of that ladybug off. Just like that. And then we're going to come down and create her head. I kind of want to call him Francis now. I think my ladybug's name is technically Francis because I, so I like that. Mm. Fill it in. And it's okay. It's a little off because it's something we can easily fix. You just add more black. I'm gonna get nice and close so I can try to run this off again. Mm. I think it's the curve of my face that's knocking me off, but that's okay. We're gonna go and we're gonna hollow all the way back like that. We're gonna go right here and Like that. And I'm going to make it seem like it's slightly like that. So that way it appears like the wings are slightly open. So, so we're gonna add 
Ooh, that's nice. Another one right here. And another one right here. And we're gonna do one up here. Not too many, because they do have small bodies. Um, so with this, we're going to do a slight couple dots. And you don't have to if you don't want to. Remember, you only do you. You do what you feel comfortable with. No one is going to talk, look at you funny for it. So maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend or siblings. I know, walk around my house and face paint all the time now, and so no one looks at me funny anymore. Just a couple of small black dots. And now we are going to take the black and we're going to outline the bottom. Like that. Could have lived without doing that, but hey. The sun is done. Now I'm going to take a different brush. I think I'm going to take my detail brush. I'm going to get it in with the white so we can do highlights. Oh no! Okay, when we're done with our highlights, I forgot the ladybug antennas. I'm going to go back for that. Alright, so I'm going to take the white. And we are going to do little outlines like that leaves. Just thinking jawline making me do ripples. It's okay. Plants come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are frumpy, some are smooth. That's the fun thing about plants. They are all the same. And so if you do face painting, no one's going, I mean, they're all different. It's okay. I want to add a couple of white just to the one side of the flowers. It adds a little bit extra shine. If you need to reload, reload. I don't have a whole lot of white paint on here. It's just enough to make but I want it done, done. And then it, when you get to the big hairy eyebrows, they always mess you up. But I can't get rid of them. I'm quite fond of my eyebrows. Maybe I should get them waxed. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay. There's that. Now we're gonna take the white. We're gonna outline the head of the ladybug real quick. like that. I'm going to bring it back the line. So I'm going to rest my pinky on my chin to help steady me and not talk. So silence skimper. And I barely wanted a line. I got exactly what I wanted. Barely a line. And then of course I remember that I forgot about that leaf or that petal. I just feel like adding some white dots to here makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> happy little, happy little guy. Alright, now we're going to go back in with our black and do our antennas. We are almost done. We are in the clear. This is a quick little video. It's very nice, very simple. Um, you can do any kind of flower too. You don't even have to include the flower. You could just have a leaf or you could just put a ladybug anywhere. I wanted a very simple ladybug and I'll probably do a more cartoony one later, but I wanted kind of like a simple one. And I'm just gonna give her a couple cute. Oh, look at that little swirl. Now, how cute is that? Now, 
could be done, but of course I'm not. So I'm going to take the tip of my brush, ignore the teeth marks, and take it. I'm just going to do one dot right here. Oh, isn't that cute? I think that's cute. And I'm going to go a little nuts. I want just like that. Okay, so we could be done right here. You don't have to do anything else. I'm very pleased with it. I think it's cute, but that's not how I roll. I'm going to put the ladybug is in love with the flower. We're going to put a couple hearts right there. A red one and another red one just right there. I think it's cute. And now, favorite part, so much favorite. We're going to take our handy dandy water. We're going to spritz it down. And if you watch my channel or watch my page or whatever I'm doing, I don't know even know what it is anymore. It's glitter time. Right, close my eyes. <clears throat> oh, isn't she just a, sh isn't he, Francis, just a shiny beauty? Mm, look, they're in love, the flower and the ladybug. Okay. Well, I, that was one of my shorter videos, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.